Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you something very cool. I'm going to be showing you how to make a fire spinner. Now, a fire spinner is pretty much a special cage tied to a rope. And this cage has steel wool inside. So when you swing it around, it shoots sparks in every direction. Now this is cool just doing it, but it's even cooler when you have a long exposure camera video or taking a picture, because it makes these awesome pictures. So in order to build these, you have to make a special um, cage on a string. So to build this device, what you're going to need is, of course, steel wool. Now this has to be super fine grade. You'll also need a coat hanger and some rope. That's just about all. And then for tools, you need some pliers, but those are pretty easy to come by. So, let's get started. Okay, so one of the first steps in building one of these fire cages is making the cage. Now you can make this cage from a simple coat hanger and some pliers. So take the coat hanger and take the actual hook on it and bend it all the way in. Now you need to have this bent in enough so there's a little loop on the top, but it's still centered. Now, you'll then need to kind of bend it in so that way it won't come out. This is where the rope is going to be tied that's going to be swinging it around in circles. After your loop is secured in place, you can now start making the cage out of the rest of the coat hanger. You'll need to cut the inside of the coat hanger with your pliers. This should leave it separated. Now you can bend each individual part out and so you're left with a giant triangle of a coat hanger. So after everything is cut, you can unravel the two pieces of coat hanger, and so you're left with one long piece of coat hanger with the loop on the end. Now it's time to start bending the cage. Now to build the actual cage, you'll need to start looping your coat hanger, because we're going to make something sort of a ball. And so you want to take this and grab it with your pliers, and rotate it around so you get some a kind of spiral. This spiral will help hold the piece of steel wool in place while you spin it around. So now after you have your cage all bent up, this should be able to hold all your steel wool and be tied to the rope. So now it's time to tie the rope on. To do this, feed one side of the rope through the hole, and then proceed to tie a double half hitch. Once you have the cage tied on, you can swing it in a circle. Now it's time to load the steel wool into your cage. You can then take a chunk of super frying grade steel wool, and then rip off a sizable chunk maybe about this big. Now once you have this sizable chunk ripped out, you can squeeze it inside your little cage. Now just push it in like this, and kind of expand it out once you have it inside your cage, and this should be pretty good. This should be ready to swing around and make a very cool spark show. Now this works because as you swing it around, lots of oxygen passes through this steel wool because it's so porous. And once you light one side on fire, the oxygen makes it, it burns faster and it burns hotter. Now, because there's so much oxygen burning this, the centripetal force of you swinging this piece of steel wool around causes sparks to fly out of the end. Now that you've built this, it's time to try it out. So I'm going to take this thing on the rope and then I'm going to light it with a lighter. And then after I light it, I'm going to swing this around in circles, very high speeds. I'm going to do, go do it down by the beach, because if you try to do this experiment not on the beach, it will cause a fire, because you're shooting sparks in all directions. So the beach is the only place where this is safe. So let's get started.
So now that you have your uh, ring of fire working, you can take some awesome pictures with it with a long exposure DSLR camera. Now to do this, set it to long exposure setting, and then set the exposure to about 3.2 seconds, set the ISO to about 200, and set the aperture to about 7, depending on how light it is outside. This should make it for a very good picture. So, these are some of the pictures that I took of my uh, ring of fire. Here they are. So, as always, thank you for watching. And stay tuned for next time, where I will be showing you how to charge the batteries in your RV with a very cheap solar panel.